Welcome back. Now we will study about uh, map projection. Uh, we by projection we mean to represent a three-dimensional surface uh, to uh, in the form of a two-dimensional plane. So going by the definition, we want to represent the Earth, which is in the form of a of three D on a two-dimensional plane. So going by the definition, a map projection is one of the many methods used to represent the three-dimensional surface of the earth or other round body on a two-dimensional plane in cartography, that is map making. making. Now, what are the different steps for um, creation of a uh, map projection? It involves the first method is, we have to select the model for the shape of the earth. That is, we have to choose whether we want the earth to be a sphere or ellipsoid. Uh, number second is we have to transform geographic coordinates that is latitude and longitude to two plane coordinates that is eastings and northings. Then uh, the third one is we have to reduce the scale uh, because uh, the earth itself is very big and it has to be reduced to a small uh, you know 2D surface. So uh, the, uh, the third step is to reduce the scale. Uh, now in manual ca cartography, reduction in scale is the second step, while as in digital cartography, it comes as the third step. Now, what are different prop metric properties of maps? The metric properties of maps are area, shape, direction, distance, and scale. Now in uh, while projecting 3D surface of Earth to a 2D plane, our focus should be to, minima, uh, to minimize the errors and uh, conserve the properties with respect to area, with respect to shape, with respect to direction, with respect to distance and with respect to scale. Now, uh, how we are going to choose a projection surface? Now, uh, if uh, any surface can be transformed into another surface without stretching, tearing or shrinking, then the surface is said to be applicable surface. In, 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 the, in that case, uh, either, uh, you know, um, oblate spheroid or, or, uh, or ellipsoid, uh, those are not applicable surfaces. Like you can understand if an orange peel is there and if, if we peel off <coughs> and the uh, orange and try to, uh, you know, lay or uh, that orange peel on a 2D surface, it can be done but only with <clears throat> all the um, imperfections it cannot be perfectly laid as as a 2d surface then uh, a surface can be unfolded or unrolled it into a flat plane or sheet without stretching tearing or shrinking it can be unfolded or unrolled is called a developable developable surface like in case of slender you can if you give a vertical cut to slender it will turn into a 2d surface now, uh, uh, also it applies to the cone. If we give a vertical cut to the cone, it can be developed into a 2D surface. So as, uh, as such, co uh, slender and coal are, uh, cone are uh, developable surfaces. Uh, and, uh, and the third one is the slender and cone uh, and of course the plane uh, are all developable surfaces and can be unfolded into flat sheet without distorting the projected image. Now, uh, in addition to choosing uh, the projection surface, uh, the orientation is also important. How that is how the slender or cone is to be placed on the earth while uh, the uh, projection is to be uh, decided. Uh, now, it can be normal that is in line with the earth's axis means if the slender is like this, the earth will be placed like this uh, or if it is a cone the earth will be placed like this now um, if if it, it can also be oblique that is transverse at right angles to the earth's surface any any it can make any angle in between other than the normal it can be set as the oblique and uh, the surfaces may also be either tangent or secant to the sphere or ellipsoid so uh, how can we uh, you know make a comparison between globes versus plane projection the globe is the only way to represent earth without distortion and as such the earth 
as it is it is without distortion now uh, if we want if you want to convert it into a different projection you know the distortions are going to come uh, the disadvantage of globe is only that it is impractical to make large scale maps we cannot have a, have a bigger uh, you know uh, size globe to represent it uh, uh, the area the actual area and the flat map has the advantage of always uh, you know distorting one or more of the metric properties uh, and it is more difficult to get true picture of the spatial relationships between uh, objects so um, flat maps have numerous advantages it is easier to measure on a flat map easy to carry around unlike the unlike globe and one can see the whole world at a once if you are to want to have a bigger model of globe it, uh, globe it will be something you know impractical or difficult to handle now only only uh, a globe can have a constant scale and uh, the scale for flat maps will vary from point to point it varies from point to point in in case of flat maps uh, the scale of flat map can only be true along one or two lines or points tangent or secant points lines the scale factor is therefore used to measure difference between idealized scale and the actual scale at a particular point on the map this is how we make a comparison between globes and the uh, plane projection now uh, choosing a model for the shape of the earth you have to approximate between uh, you know sphere uh, if earth is assumed to be a sphere the earth is not exactly spherical but is closer to shape to an ellipsoid with a bulge around the equator now uh, what are the different uh, categories the surfaces are classified as cylindrical which are like example mercator projection and conic projection and uh, and azimuthal or plane uh, projection which applies to more, mostly to polar region projections now uh, there are different uh, kinds of projections which aim to accomplish different goals you know if you got to have area preserving projection you call that as equal area or equal projection if you uh, want to have shape preserving we call it as conformal or orthomorphic if you want to preserve the direction we call that as conformal orthomorphic or, and as uh, uh, azimuthal if you want to preserve uh, distance so we call that as equidistant so based on the priority we can choose different kinds of uh, you know properties and uh, that will uh, conform to different uh, types of projections now what are the uh, common map projections we have cylindrical map projection you can see this is the cylinder and globe put, put inside and if it is if if a cut is given uh, um, a vertical cut is given to the cylinder the globe can be rolled out on a on a plane surface like this so this kind of map projection cylindrical map projection has a straight coordinate lines with horizontal parallels crossing meridians at right angles as you can see here and uh, um, our cylindrical map projections are rectangles but are called cylindrical because they can be rolled up and their edges mapped in a tube or cylinder now the next uh, uh, type of map projection is conic map projection these maps are defined by the cone constant which dictates the angular distance between the meridians it measures the angular distance between the between the meridians like the cylindrical projection uh, no conical map projections have parallels that cross the meridians at right angles with a constant measure of distortion throughout uh, and conic map projections are designed to be able to be uh, wrapped around a cone on top of the sphere and uh, the distortion in cone cone makes it uh, inappropriate uh, to visualize whole of the earth but it is uh, very well uh, you know Uh, applies to the temperate regions also for the weather maps and for climatic projections that's why conic map projections are uh, you know uh, recommended for uh, temperate regions now uh, we have the final one azimuthal uh, map projection it is angular map projection uh, when we have three given points on map a b and c the azimuth from point b to point c dictates the angle someone would have to look or travel in order to get to a these uh, angular relationships are more commonly known as great circle 
arcs or geodesic arcs Geo, uh, you know azimuthal uh, maps are beneficial for finding direction from any point on the earth using the central point as a reference and uh, these uh, map projections are created for certain uh, purposes and there is no limit to the amount of projections that can be that can be created we can uh, have any number of projections and uh, uh, while choosing any projection we have to keep in mind that the metric properties of the uh, you know a projection should be uh, uh, of the maps should be retained and should not be distorted there should be minimum distortion there should be minimum minimum errors uh, and depending upon the objective and the location of the uh, on the globe you can cho choose between a different uh, set of uh, projections and uh, this is how the azimuthal cylindrical and conical projections look will look like and how they can they are brought into the uh, these 2d planes and how they look on the 2d planes